To begin completing your tax year within BrightPay, firstly you'll need to finalise the final payroll for all pay frequencies. Finalise all payments made to employees before and up to the 5th of April 2023. BrightPay will indicate which pay periods are still open with the employee symbol along the blue bars. You will know all pay slips have been finalised when no more employee symbols are visible. Once all your pay slips are finalised, you must then make sure that all outstanding FPS submissions are submitted to HMRC before moving on to the next step. Choose the RTI tab, select each outstanding FPS submission from the list and send to HMRC. Next, you must complete the HMRC payment schedule. Open the HMRC payments tab and review the information shown on the screen. If you have any CIS deductions in the tax period, enter accordingly and click Save Changes to update the summary. After this, you can prepare the final end of year EPS. In the RTI tab, select the Employer Payment Summary EPS from the new drop down menu. If there are recoverable amounts due as per the HMRC payment schedule, then this will automatically be indicated on the EPS. Please note, if there are statutory recoverable amounts due to be reclaimed by the employer, please ensure the correct year-to-date figures are indicated on the EPS screen. If the figures are not correct, review the HMRC Payments Utility. Once correct, return to the RTI menu and recommence the preparation of the EPS again. Indicate on the EPS that this is your final submission by ticking this box. Click OK, then submit to HMRC. If you are reviewing the 2022-23 payroll at a later date, you can check if the end of year EPS was submitted by simply selecting the EPS from the listing of RTI submissions. Once selected, the EPS will indicate the final submission indicator. If an error is discovered in any FPS for 22-23 after your final submission has been made, then an additional full payment submission can be submitted to HMRC. An additional FPS can now be submitted at any time during or after the tax year. To prepare an additional full payment submission, firstly reopen the relevant pay slips. Make your amendments and finalise accordingly. In the RTI menu of 22-23 BrightPay, select additional FPS from the new drop-down menu. Select the employee or employees for whom you have made adjustments and select an appropriate late reporting reason from the drop-down menu. Submit the additional FPS to HMRC. Please note, if a payroll correction has also led to a change in your recoverable amounts, it is important to also submit a new employer payment summary to HMRC, in addition to the additional FPS, to inform them of your amended year-to-date recoverable amounts total. The final step in completing your tax year is to send P60s to your employees. You need to provide a Form P60, either paper or electronic, for each employee who was in your employment on the 5th of April 2023. You must do this by no later than the 31st of May 2023. The P60 option is located within the Employees tab. Select an employee who is in active employment as of the 5th of April from the list on the left-hand side of your screen. Click the P60 tab and simply select the P60 option you require. BrightPay facilitates the printing and emailing of P60s on an individual basis or in a batch. BrightPay will generate the P60 in three formats, depending on your requirements. HMRC P60 prints to HMRC single page laser P60. Blank paper prints to HMRC approved substitute P60, which prints on plain paper and email P60 is a HMRC acceptable means of issuing the P60. The view print P60 certificates, export P60s to PDF and email P60s pop-up screens will give you the option to show the BrightPay logo and to ignore employees not paid in that year.